Hey there, YouTubers. So, I have what I'd call a cautionary tale for you today. Uh, getting all serious on you. Um, so, I, I upload videos all the time of me doing, like, extreme sport kind of stuff, like uh, uh, jet skiing and um, rock climbing and... Um, I, I don't know if I would call weightlifting an extreme sport, but bodybuilding, not really extreme, but like, let's say physically intensive, um, sports, um, and, um, and also some like, well, all sports are physically intensive, I guess, but, um, then other tradi more traditional ones like basketball or baseball or whatever, um, and that's great, and I usually, and I, I love doing stuff like that. Um, but the thing is, I think I have to know, and everyone else has to know, we have our limits. And, um, I'm going to talk about that in terms of my life, just real quick here. Um, so, I, on occasion I've had right shoulder problems because I'm right-handed, and, um, obviously I use my right arm far more than, than my left and years ago when I had the shoulder problems um, I I started doing a lot of things with my left arm um, because I wanted to rest my right shoulder as much as possible so I started like washing my hair with my left arm and brushing my teeth and like really like everyday kind of stuff I started using my left arm for just to give my right arm a little bit of a break and um, and it worked out really well. I, I got really adept at doing those things with my left arm um, because I, I never could do much with my left arm. I'm so righty dominant. Um, but that changed and I'm, I'm now able to do more things with my left. So in a way it was a good thing. Um, but um, so then for years I didn't have any trouble with my right arm except until recently. And um, the reason for that is because I overdid it. Um, my sister and brother-in-law and their two kids came to visit and they wanted to do all these things and I wanted to do all the things with them and I shouldn't have because I should have known that it would be too much and that I'd end up with shoulder problems again. Um, but I didn't because I'm dumb sometimes and I think that I'm invincible, uh, but I'm not. So in the span of about a week, I was on the beach with them, um, not with the beach wheelchair, although you'll have some videos coming up with that soon, or maybe they'll already be up, because I don't know when I'm uploading this, um, but I didn't use the beach wheelchair, I just, I essentially um, got as far onto the beach as I could with my regular wheelchair, and then um, crawled, or hopped, like the entire rest of the way, <laughs> excuse me, and that alone wouldn't have been bad. That would have been fine. I would have had no problems. Um, but then I also went swimming in the pool with them a few times. And again, that alone wouldn't have been bad. I, I wouldn't have had any problems. But I also went to two inaccessible uh, trails with them. When I say inaccessible, I mean shells and uh, very, very soft sand and um, like mud and and uh, I, I actually think that's really what did it. Um, but I also went on a, a fairly long bike ride with them. Um, so that's, let's see, one, two trails, bike ride, pool, beach. Um, and there's actually a pool more than once. So let's say six, six, six things. And then um, a week or so before that, I had gone to the pool with um, my girlfriend and her mom. And again, there will be a video up of that either shortly or perhaps already, um, depending on when I upload this. Um, so that was that's now seven things in the span of about two weeks. And then a week after my sister, a week or so after my sister left, I decided to install um, an outside an outside motion sensor light at my condo. And so that was now eight things in a span of about two and a half to three weeks. And 
um, as, and plus I was walking rusty every day, and while that isn't a huge, huge deal, um, if I stay on, um, blacktop or pavement or sidewalk or whatever, sometimes I would go, um, on the grass because I'd need to, to pick up his poop or whatever, and pushing on the grass is a little bit tough. So what happened is I ended up with shoulder problems again, and it's been, I mean, I, I've, so I was, I was not doing ice on it in Florida, but I've been doing ice since I got back in New Jersey, and it's been a lot better since then. Been doing Aleve, been trying to not use as much Aleve, um, you know, anti-inflammatories, although I have to, I don't like to take too much of those. Been trying to not use it as much, but it's, it's just, it's a reminder that, like, despite how many things I think I can do and how many things I do do, there, there are limits. And so because of that, I haven't been able to lift weights in about a month. Um, even playing guitar, because I have my arm up when I'm playing guitar, sometimes that would bother me. So I haven't been able to do as much as that. Um, my lawn here in New Jersey is really tough, and I've actually had to have help pushing on that. Um, I haven't been able to walk rusty up here in New Jersey. So, thankfully, I have help I'm with those things, but if I didn't, it, it would be a huge, huge problem. Um, and at some point, I'm certain that I'll need surgery on this shoulder because it's just over time, it's going to get worse and worse, but I'd like to try to delay that as much as possible. And the way to do that is to use the ice and to use the leave and to not overdo it. Um, so anyway, that's my cautionary tale. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to stay safe out there. Bye-bye.